Hey guys, what's going on? Mike the Caveman Cuny here again, Paleo Problem Island, MikeTheCaveman.com. Today's question is, should you be supplementing with berberine? I'm the caveman. Caveman. And the answer is, yeah, possibly. Now, berberine refers to an alkaloid that comes from a variety of plants, but most commonly, golden seal and barberry. Now, it has thousands of years of human consumption through traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine, but it is also clinically backed by the scientific literature. In fact, in some cases, it's as effective, if not more, than pharmaceutical medications. It has demonstrated beneficial roles in combating diabetes through both blood sugar lowering, lowering of HbA1c, reducing inflammation, but that anti-inflammatory activity is systemic. It goes across the entirety of the body. It's been demonstrated to improve intestinal health as well as the diversity of your gut microbiota, but it also has antimicrobial activity, so it can help to take down deleterious pathogens. It can help to improve your blood lipid profile, but some of the emerging research is where it really gets exciting because it has potential roles as a nootropic, which we talked about yesterday. So cognitive health, whether we're talking just about performance boosts or fighting neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or even mood disorders like depression. Moreover, its metabolic effects seem to indicate that it can potentially help to fight obesity. Now, its primary mechanism of action is by way of regulating blood sugar through inhibition of AMPK. Because of this, it only lowers blood sugar when blood sugar is elevated. But this does come with a caveat that if you're already on blood sugar lowering medication, that could be a problem because it's going to lower it even further. So make sure to be mindful of that. Also, AMPK is associated with the development of muscle hypertrophy or the growth of new muscle. So if you're on berberine, Resistance training is even more important. While it does have the potential to help with a lot of conditions, one major problem that may arise is through its activity on liver detoxification enzymes as well as P-glycoprotein. So P-glycoprotein actually goes and inhibits the absorption of berberine. And berberine actually goes and releases compounds to upregulate that process. So it actually slows down its own absorption. What this does is it sends the berberine back into the intestines, which in turn can lead to the most common side effect of high-dose berberine, which would be digestive upset, particularly cramping, diarrhea, bloating, no good. This can also lead to some serious drug interactions as their absorption can be modified as well. Some drugs in particular that you want to be mindful of if you are taking them currently to avoid berberine include blood sugar lowering medications as well as antibiotics. But provided that's not the case, if you want to optimize your berberine absorption, what you're going to want to do is look at some natural P-glycoprotein inhibitors, things like milk thistle, possibly cayenne, possibly shishandra berries, and potentially even coconut oil due to the capric acid content. By the end of the day, provided you use it intelligently and acutely, you should have any problems and you might see some incredible benefit if you have one of those aforementioned conditions. So your biggest takeaways are that, yeah, you probably should look into berberine if you're dealing with any kind of metabolic issue, neurodegenerative issue, gut issue, or just general inflammation issue. We have thousands of years of traditional use and clinical efficacy to back it up. The research simply is there. But again, you just have to be mindful that if you are currently taking medications, discuss it with your doctor and be mindful of that situation. Either way though, guys, hope this helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Long Island and of course over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Maybe go take some berberine and I'll see you tomorrow. The answer is possibly, but mostly to say I'm the right side of the wall.